Welcome to Rough Cut. Excuse me a minute while I take a sip of a refreshing beverage. Starbucks. Now, speaking of Starbucks, I'm sure a lot of you have been boycotting the uh, fine coffee establishment, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. What, I mean, you're angry at Howard Schultz because he sold the Sonics? What else can you do? You can't, uh, you can't buy the team from him. You can't buy the team from Clay Bennett. So I applaud your boycott. Uh, although, let's face it, he has stores in Saudi Arabia, he has stores in Germany, probably has stores in Sioux Falls, and all of those people don't care where the Sonics are. Most of them probably don't even know who the Sonics are in the first place. But I think maybe it's time to call off temporarily the boycott of our fine establishment right here, born and bred in the Seattle Pacific Northwest. Um, let's, uh, let's give Howard his due. I know we all question his motives on why he's suing Clay Bennett to get the team back. I know it's a PR stunt, as David Stern would say, but who cares? If it gums up the works a little more, now we've got three lawsuits against Clay Bennett. Uh, the, the one that's uh, most interesting and the one that is the best chance to keep the team here is the federal lawsuit that will be determined this summer, uh, the city filing suit against, against Bennett saying the team should stay through the, the course of its lease two more years in Seattle. That's Seattle's best bet. But this one is even more intriguing. What if Howard wins? Just what if? And he's got a reputable attorney. This isn't some ambulance-chasing gimmick. This is a serious case. And what if it's not heard for another year, which is a great possibility? So if the city were to lose, I don't think it's gone to, but if the city were to lose the suit this summer, we would still have the Howard Schultz suits suit pending, which is, to me, very exciting, because Bennett could win the suit against the city, move the team to Oklahoma City, then Howard wins this suit against Bennett, and, whoops, Bennett doesn't own the team anymore. Howard does. Then the team, then the, the franchise has to move back to Seattle. I mean, that's just, wow, that's great. That's great theater. I hope it doesn't come to that point, but Howard is putting the pressure on, and we've all, I've called Howard a villain a, a million times. I thought he was a Idiot's owner. I don't want him owning the Sonics, to be honest with you. I hope the day after he gets it back, if he were to get it back, he would sell it again to the people who should run it, Steve Ballmer and his group. But let's give, let's finally, for once, let Howard off the hook for a day or two until this thing, if this thing were to blow up in his face. If they're gone and buried and they're in Oklahoma City losing games there instead of here, then we can get mad at Howard again. In the meantime, as much of a PR stunt as you may think this is, it's still legit, and it still helps the cause. Clay Bennett, I know, when he heard this news this week, took a knee. He went he, at least a standing eight count. This was this. He didn't see this one coming, and it's another blow that's going to cost him millions. And that is the best news we've heard in a while. So let's let's take off the the, the black gowns. Let's stop the mourning. Let's, let's enjoy this fight because we've got a fight and we've got some high-powered people on Seattle's side fighting this case. Excuse me a minute. Thanks for watching Rough Cut.